Hey guys, so as you guys see, I have my beautiful daughter Tati, and we're about to do a wig tutorial. This one is by Miss Bai, and it's their 22 inch loose wave. 360 glueless lace front and the color that we have this time is the number two as you guys may have remembered I did do one a couple of weeks ago, so I'm going to Try and transform my daughter Tati into me, but not literally into me, you know So as you guys see she did cut her hair She did like the big chop a few days ago because her hair was damaged and she just wanted it to just grow back Just really healthy. So she cut all her hair off. So we're gonna try out this wig This is her very first time ever wearing a wig or she has worn a wig a couple of times, but this is the first time that I'm going to glue a wig on her and this is the first time that I've ever glued a wig on anyone besides myself so the first thing that you see me doing is I'm going to cornrow her hair all the way back just so that her wig can lay flat and neat and flush to her head you know what I mean she's kind of like surprised that I could braid her short hair and I'm trying to tell her like it's not that short this is definitely braidable hair now if you guys are not aware of Miss Vi they have some really cool nice wigs the one that I have is identical to Tati's except for it's a little bit darker she wanted something more or less like her hair color so we did get the number two and I do believe it's 150 percent density there are three combs in the front and a comb and an adjustable strap in the nape and as you guys know it is a 360 so you can definitely put it up in a ponytail a bun and stuff like that however you can only part it in the front so just be aware if you're trying to part that baby all the way down the middle then you better get a full lace but you can definitely check out MissBuy.com. they have some great wigs i absolutely love mine i still am rocking it i actually wore it while i was in new york and i absolutely love it so yes as you guys see we have a little visitor which is my grandson tinky tati son so i'm almost done braiding her hair and i'm just going to put some black rubber bands at the bottom so that way her hair stays tight and i'm just going to kind of like gather them all together and braid it kind of like together and then i'm going to put another rubber band and leave it in the middle so the first thing I'm going to do to her is remove some of her makeup from her hairline and a little bit past that or down below that just because I just want to make sure that I have enough room and space to work with the glue and the tape. So back in the days we used to do this. This is the stocking cap method. This is nothing new. I used to do this back in the days and you guys see I had to kind of like rough her up. So I'm going to use the top guard first. Top guard is a skin barrier. It also allows your wig to adhere to your skin a lot better. Meaning when it's hot and humid outside if you use a skin protectant like top guard there is different brands like um oh god i just can't think of them off of hand but if you look up skin protectants you will see them on like amazon i've had this one for a couple of years but you only need a little bit it takes about a minute or two to dry and once it's dry it'll leave like a barrier on your skin it's great to protect your skin but it's also great to um adhere the wig so what I'm using is my wig glue this is not hair gel or anything like that this is actual wig glue um, it's not the uh, it's the aqua bond I'm using aqua bond it's a very strong glue and it's particularly for wigs it kind of smells like Elmer's glue but it is only for wigs and toupees and mustaches so I'm going to use and spread it on the stocking cap with a makeup brush and just do it evenly you do need to let this dry before applying the wig so I do use a blow dryer normally what I used to do back in the day is just walk around the house for like five minutes and then allow it to air dry same thing but for the purpose of this video to let it speed through I'm just going to blow dry it so you want to make sure that it gets kind of tacky and Tati is one who doesn't like not like heat as you guys can see she's kind of like a very difficult client okay like very difficult client but you know you gotta love her she's your kid I love her to death but she's very difficult to work with so I chose the wig cap that was more close to her scalp color. There are several different color browns, so try to find one that's as close as possible to your wig, uh, or to your, excuse me, to your scalp. And I guess the blow dryer was a little bit too hot for her. She just complains a lot. So now that the glue is a little bit tacky, I'm going to cut away the excess cap, which is underneath the glue. Now, mind you, this is Aqua Bond glue, but you can get Ghost Bond, which is just as strong. I'm not really sure of any particular web 
websites, but I do know that you can get the Aqua Bond from Amazon. It's about $20, and it's a really good glue adhesive. I wouldn't say messing with those Salon Pro, those clear glues that you can get from the beauty supply store because they're trash. Now, I also like to use Super Tape. I use only Super Tape because this is going to allow the wig to stick even longer and stronger. Like, seriously, if you want your wig to be laid down, honey, and you don't want it to move, then definitely try Super Tape. There are loads of different types of tapes, but my preference is Super Tape. For those of you guys who like something different, then that's your preference, but I prefer to use Super Tape tape only. I have a large collection of tape and this is the one that I go to. You can also purchase the Super Tape on Amazon as well. So we're going to put this wig on. We're going to leave it right here and not too far down because you know I'm going to adhere the tape still or just kind of like I have to remove the strips from the tape but when you apply the wig tape you need to make sure that the back end is facing your forehead meaning the portion with the name super tape all on it that is the portion you want to peel off first unless you are not trying to take it off so as you guys see I do use a tweezer to remove the tabs of the tape and I'm just going to gently pull this down onto her head you know just a little bit gently and I'm going to take my rat tail comb and I'm just going to smooth the wig cap down onto her or the wig onto her head. Now, as you guys see, the lace of the wig is a little bit too light. This was like a light brown. I should have got a medium brown. I don't even recall even asking for a particular color, but you know, it is what it is. Now, the ear tabs on most lace fronts are just a little bit too much for people. So nine times out of 10, a lot of us do remove the ear tabs just by cutting them off. This just gives a better look, a better fit. You know, nobody has like sideburn ear tabs on their face so I always remove mine now I'm just going to go back in and I want to make sure that the wig is properly adhered to the glue and the tape and I'm just going to take that blow dryer and the rat tail comb and I'm just going to keep pressing into the glue and tape along with the wig and the rat tail comb that way everything is dry and it is all perfect and adhere now as you guys seen the lace of the wig like I see like you see right here is a little bit too um, light but we're gonna fix that we are definitely going to fix that so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just cut away some baby hairs for her because this is how we're going to camouflage that light lace no big deal and we don't need a lot of baby hairs. Tati does like baby hairs, but we're not going to use a lot. Like, we're not going to fill her whole head up with baby hairs. But we're going to use the hairs, just the flyaways, just to camouflage the lace color. Now I'm going to first go in with my hair mousse. And this is by Herbal Essence. I like to start off with the hair mousse because... I don't want all of the hair to be gelled down. Gel will just make the hair harder and just a little bit flaky or not even flaky but just a little bit harder to work with. Plus, you don't need a lot of gel. So I do prefer to use hair mousse just to start it off with. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of like saturate the front portion just so that way you know we got a wave pattern going on and it also loosens the hair and it allows it to just easily work with. Now right here I am cutting off some of the excess lace because there was a little bit extra lace that I didn't notice so I'm going to trim that away. And now I'm going to take my toothbrush and I'm going to start forming some of the baby hairs and hairline. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of my Gorilla Snot Gel along with the um, hair mousse. So using the hair mousse, more majority of hair mousse versus hair gel just makes the process a lot easier. As you guys can see right here, it'll also make the hair look a little bit more wavier and it'll also make it look a lot better opposed to being like stiff and weighed down. So I do like to use hair mousse first. And I'm just, just, just gently, you know, brushing the hair into and just applying some more hair mousse right onto the hairline. And I'm just styling her baby hairs and just camouflaging the front of the hairline right here, that light lace. So as you guys see, this is how it came out in the front. And I'm just going to wet it up a little bit just so I can get those waves to pop in. You know what I'm saying? Make it look real pretty. And I'm also going to add some more of this hair mousse just so we can get it to be styled in place and, you know, style it up. Now normally people would use a headscarf to tie their baby hairs down with. 
I don't really like to use head scarves to tie my baby hairs down and make the hair look better. That to me flattens the hair and it just takes away from the wig. So what I do is I take my blow dryer out as you guys see right here and I'm just going to blow dry the baby hairs down and I'm also going to blow dry the hair in the front where I've applied that mousse. So that way the hair is styled, it'll stay styled, it's not smashed down. Normally when you use the head scarves, it smashes it down, it also smashes the top of the wigs down. So I don't prefer using any type of head scarf. Now because the lace is still a little bit light, I'm just going to use some of her pressed powder and just camouflage it a little bit better. I like to use a little brush. It's kind of like painting to me. It's a form of art. By the time I'm done with this, it's going to look amazing. I do like the hair. It's very pretty. It's very, you know, just soft and the density is perfect. Tati loved the wig once I put it on her. She took pictures and she absolutely is in love with it and I like it a lot on her too. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that she liked it, especially because it's the first time for her to get any wig adhere to her so it came out really pretty I like the way the baby hairs are laying down and she still has the wig on to this day so she's had this wig on for actually by the time you guys see this video well it'll probably be like four or five days the wig has not moved at all that is the reason why I prefer the glue and the tape over versus got to be gel because if you want to keep the wig on then definitely try out aqua bond or ghost bond along with some super tech girl your wig will be laid down now this is the cool part about the wig because you can put it in a ponytail a side ponytail and what have you I'm so glad that Tati likes her wig especially because it's the first time being bonded down so thank you make sure you check out Miss Bye, and I'll see you guys soon subscribe um like comment share this on all your social media this is the wig slayer the og the original before all of you guys just fyi so <laughs> peace from the middle east that looks pretty that looks